It is my great honour to, uh, to welcome Marianne Neal to the stage. Marianne uh, is, of course, uh, one of our sponsors from Australian Water Partnership, uh, which is a very warm welcome and a shout out to our sponsors uh, today. Uh, and Marianne is going to be talking about setting the scene, uh, Australian expertise and solutions. Um, uh, and so we're looking forward to hearing from Marianne. So welcome to the stage, Marianne. Thank you very much and good morning, good evening, good night to everybody who's online. Yes, yeah, so it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the first session of today, uh, Exporting Australian Innovation and Expertise. Um, so yeah, my name is Marion Neal and I'm the Partnerships and Knowledge Manager of the Australian Water Partnership. Um, you know, during these, these trying times that we find ourselves in, um, I think it's really imperative to remember the, the vitally important role that water has to play in our response to COVID uh, and also in the recovery and the rebuilding of livelihoods and economies into the future. Australia has a really important part to play in supporting our neighbours in the Indo-Pacific region. We have a lot to offer, a depth and a breadth of water innovation and expertise. We don't have all the answers, uh, and we don't always get things right ourselves every time, but we are willing and able to share our lessons learned and our experiences so that we can impact positively in the lives and livelihoods of our neighbours in the region. The Australian Water Partnership and Water for Women are actively working with DFAT to support their new Partnerships for Recovery Australia's COVID-19 development response policy and have pivoted a number of our activities to assist in this space. AWP, Water for Women and DFAT are one of the proud sponsors of this Innovate for Water conference and we would welcome your engagement with us. Next slide, please. So Australia shares its water know-how internationally in a variety of ways through the water programs of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, such as AWP and Water for Women, through a number of programs that run under the remit of bilateral water-related MOUs, managed either by the Department of Foreign Affairs or the Department of Ag, Water and the Environment. Through, of course, Austrade, and then a number of Australian organisations have direct relationships and partnerships with country governments uh, and organizations around the world. Next slide, please. The Australian Water Partnership is a flagship DFAT initiative uh, that strives to enhance sustainable water management, primarily in the Indo-Pacific uh, or Asia-Pacific region. Uh, this is an initiative that is particularly innovative in that it is an aid program that delivers development outcomes through a partnership approach. Next slide, please. The way we work is that we, AWP, plays an intermediary role between demand and response. So demand or requests for assistance um, are made by country governments and AWP facilitates relevant expertise to address that particular water-related issue or problem identified. The partnership approach ensures that there is a clear common understanding of the need or the problem, and that solutions are collaboratively developed and bespoke to local contexts and conditions. Next slide, please. So the AWP currently has 215 Australian partners that it is able to draw on. And these partners cover a broad range of water expertise, ranging from strategic water approaches uh, to water management to COVID-19. Next slide, please. This slide uh, illustrates uh, the breadth and depth of the water expertise of our partnership base. Um, and it covers these uh, nine different domains. I don't know how visible that is to everybody, um, but there's, there's uh, domains that are looking at irrigation and uh, uh, agriculture, river basins and catchments, JEDZ, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals, Integrated Urban Water Management, and uh, a new domain that we unfortunately had to add was water and COVID-19. 
Um, these dimensions uh, also uh, illustrate the, the breadth of our portfolio of activities. So we support activities that fall under these different domains of expertise. Next slide, please. So the AWP works really closely with our country governments to enhance sustainable water management, but we also work through the Australian Embassy and Diplomatic Net Network and through a small select group of multilateral organizations. Now, these are the, the different pathways that assist us with, with identifying the needs and the problems that we then go on to support. Um, we, we definitely rely on these three uh, pathways to ensure that our support is targeted, that we have political buy-in and that we have impact in our development outcomes. So one of our multilat partners is with us here today, the World Bank, represented by Sudipta Sekar, who's the next speaker in the session. And the World Bank and Trade and Investment Queensland will provide us with insights into the receiving market uh, for innovation. Their perspectives will be followed by five colleagues who will present an invitation to respond.